Today we're going to work on a solid wood bottom basket. And the bottom looks like this. It's just wood. And on the inside it looks the same. And I picked up some of these wood cut out discs. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make the bottom to get ready to put the reed in. So I take two pieces of the wood cutouts and I choose the best side that I like for the outside. So the, the side you don't like will go on the inside. So we'll lay one down and we're going to take our little scraps of reed from the last basket that I made. I'm going to lay out one layer of scraps of reed to go on the inside and I'll show you what happens when we glue the two pieces together. So first we're going to get some, I like tacky glue so this is what I'm going to use. And all you do is put some glue down and stick it down. Whoops. Why'd that fall off? I didn't glue it. There we go. Then I'm going to take some glue to put on top. We want the glue on the reed. And then I'm going to take my other disc and I'm going to lay that right on top. And it's going to be like a little sandwich. And then I take my clothespins and I just clip it together. I go all the way around. There, I've got quite a few all the way around. And now all I'm going to do is set that aside and let it dry. Now ahead of time, I cut up some reed that I'm going to use for the sides of my basket. These are seven inches long and it's the three quarter inch reed. And what I'm going to do is take each one of them. I'm not going to really worry about what side is smoother because I kind of want it to curl up like this. It'll be much easier when I weave the basket. So we're going to take some more glue, put it in the little crack one at a time. Whoops. I get a little carried away with the glue. There we've got a little notch that we can put it in all the way around. So, how about we do one on four corners here, even though it's round. Spacing it up there. See how that's starting to look? Then you just Kind of make it even. Keep putting those spokes in. I absolutely love making this basket. And it doesn't take as much reed to make it either as it does weaving the bottoms of the basket. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's a little tight, but that's the way you want it. There. There. And then you just keep putting them in all the way around. That's about how far apart we want them, about a half an inch. So after you get this part done, you need to let it dry for a while before you start weaving. Here's my basket all ready to be woven with the one quarter inch half round reed. And it's kind of neat. It's so neat and tidy. And we're not going to soak this. What we're going to do is we're going to spray it. Any kind of water sprayer that you might have around the house. This is a little mister for when it gets hot out. I like to use this. And all I do is spray around the side. And wet down my reed. So I have to keep pumping this one. You can get a regular spray bottle if you want to. And I also do the bottom. And you only really need to spray where you're going to be lifting up the reed. Let me do just a little bit more to get it started here. And then I'm going to let it sit just for a few minutes to let that soak in. 
and just like a basket that you would start weaving on the bottom and then fold the sides up we're going to start folding up the sides and just gently start folding them up and hopefully they won't crack we only want it to stand up just enough so we can start weaving just like that there and you can also pin them up if you like sometimes it makes it easier when you start out just like that and we're getting ready to weave I'm ready to start weaving my reed and I've got my quarter inch half round ready to go with the round side I'm going to it toward the outside and I'm gonna start it right here and take one of my clips clip it so that holds into place and get it nice and tight uh, I think you can see that and I'm gonna start going around and I'm gonna clip my read up to keep it into place as I'm going around and to hold it into place to get my first row done <clears throat> whoops You can always keep going back and pressing it down and getting it straight. And let me keep going around here. And I'm right back where I started. Now I'm gonna cross over to right here. I thought I had to keep the weave going because I I got to here and if I keep if I go back under where I was it it won't work out right because it's an must be an odd number of spokes I put in so I'm gonna go over to I'll start my next row if you ever are weaving and you're going over and under, over and under, if the reed starts going the same way, you've got to go over two spokes in order to keep the pattern going. I guess I can let go of all these now. I'm going to take all these out. I got a good start on the bottom. And let's keep going around and let's not make it too tight. And once you get this going, this goes really fast. You're gonna be around two or three times before you know it. I've come to that spot where I gotta go over two again. So I'm going over two and then I'm going under and to keep the weave going. So let me see how far I can go around here and show you how this is coming. And we keep pulling it down. And this is so easy. Not, not to say weaving the bottom is that hard, but having a wood bottom really makes it easy. Oh, there's my spot where I have to go over two again. I'm going over two here, two here, and I'm going to go over two right here. You'll understand once you start weaving and you see how it works out. And as you can see, already my side is getting built up. I'm going to keep going around until I get to the top. I wish there was an easier way to show you this, but I'm going to go in and tuck in the piece of reed that I just cut with the new I don't know if you can see that. And I'm gonna 
then put it behind. I know you can see that. I'm gonna put it behind this reed right here. And I'm gonna tuck that all in. And it, and it will hold itself together there. There's where we hooked it. And you can't see where it began and where it started. I also wanna share that while you're going around our round basket, you need to start bending the spokes out just a bit. Otherwise, they'll start going inward and you don't want a skinny top. You want it to be kind of straight and lined up with the bottom. And you're not gonna hurt the reed by bending it back just a little bit. As you can see, I got all the way to the top and I made sure my last little piece of quarter round, quarter inch reed goes on the inside. And now we're gonna decide where to cut the extra pieces off on the top. I take a piece of scrap reed and I decide how far up I want my sides. And then I just start it at the bottom and I work my way around and I mark it with a pencil. And that way I'll know right where to cut the top. Now I've got all my reed marked at the top and I'm ready to just clip. <sighs> all the way around. I've got my basket just about finished and I've cut two of these three quarter inch reed to go around the top and the bottom. I'm not sure what your measurement will be but you need to overlap it about three inches and then cut two of the same length. <clears throat> and I've got one already clipped inside and I'm gonna Take my other one and work that one all the way around. There we go. And I always cut my end at an angle. I just think it looks nicer. Like cutting a piece of ribbon. <clears throat> and I also do the same on the inside. There's my inside. And I got that cut at an angle. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it does make it a little bit neater. I also want to mention that you want to soak the reed for the top of your basket and the reed that you're going to sew it together with really good so that it's very bendable. To start sewing my basket together, I've got my awl and I have put it on the inside and I've put it down through about three uh, rows and then I'm just going to take my piece of wet soaked weaving sewing reed and then I take this out and it's nice and secure and then I can start sewing and I need this to go in between the reed to make a space for it so that we can begin sewing and I think this is pretty long. Let me cut it off right there. And there we go. Go through a nice space right there. Sometimes the reed comes to life and wants to fight you. <clears throat> Let me do a couple of rows so you can see what it looks like. There we go underneath and pull it through. And I'm gonna I'm gonna work that all the way around. I've gotten all the way around. My top is secure, but I've got some extra reed here, and I thought I would reverse my sewing and go backwards. I've made it all the way around the second time, and all I gotta do is tuck this in. Let's see. And secure it. There we go. I 
and we're all done. Thank you for watching with me.